Hello friends, welcome to Success Seeker. Friends, today in this video, I will be doing mock test number 7 for general studies, which will be very helpful for you in competitive examinations. I have already completed till mock test number 6. Hope you will watch those videos also for your benefit. And math mock test I have done 1. So kindly watch that video also for the total benefit. And I will be uploading more mock test. Kindly support me by subscribing my channel and share and like my video. So let's start. First question is food security involves. Here the answer will be all of the above. And all of the above is option A is adequate physical availability of food, reliability and nutritionally adequate supply of food and timely support of food. So food security involves all of this. Next question. Number two, for which spice is Kashmir famous for? It is famous for option number C that is saffron. Saffron is famous famous in Kashmir region and saffron is a spice. It is red in color and it is very costly. Why costly? It is uh, done or uh, everything is done manually. So hence it is costly. And for Kashmir, if uh, you have to know uh, some more information, that is, it was in Article 360, but it was abolished in 2019. Next question, number three, which one is not a component or part of social forestry? So here, answer will be option C, commercial farm forestry. As social forestry, it includes urban forestry, agroforestry, it does not include commercial forestry. Social forestry, what it is, it is management and protection of forest and it helps environment socially and rural development is also done due to forest, uh, social forestry. And Government of India also launched many schemes for social forestry, for upliftment of social forestry, uh, like one most famous that is Kempa and uh, it is for afforestation fund management authority also there are some nap other schemes that is nap so this is regarding social forestry which you need to know next is the bhavar is bhavar is composed of bhavar as you it is composed of option c gravel and unassorted sediments next question number 5 According to 2011 census, literacy rate in India is, here the answer will be option C, that is 74.04%. Next question, number 6. Which of the following founded the independent labor party in 1936? So, it was founded by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. That is option A is the right answer. Next question, number 7. Both of the transfer of powers and partition of India were hurriedly uh, through in how many days? So, option C is the right answer here, 72 days. In 72 days, hurriedly it was done by Lord Mountbatten. He was the last Viceroy of India. Uh, he was sent to do the partition of India very hurriedly. Next, number 8. Janam Saki is the biography of here the answer will be option A that is Guru Nanak. Guru Nanak uh, biography is Janam Saki and uh, he was the 10th Guru of Sikhism and he also founded Sikhism religion. Next question number 9. Who among the following organized the defense in the trial of INA officers? Here the answer will be option A that is Bulabai Desai. An INA trial was done in 1946 at Redford and uh, some more persons were there who organized it was Jawaharlal Nehru, Asaf Ali, Tej Bahadur Sapru and Kailas Nath Kajidu. So these were, they were also included in INA trials. They were, tri they, uh, they were in trial committees which was proposed against the British Indian Army. Next question number 10. Vidya Sagar has been 
described as traditional modernizer by the historian by the historian uh, here answer will be option c that is amales tripathi he described vidya sagar as traditional modernizer and uh, vidya sagar or ishwar chandra vidya ishwar chandra vidya sagar he was very famous and renowned social activist for he mainly his main uh, work was against widow remarriage and he fought against it and uh, finally a uh, act was passed in 1856 that is widow remarriage act and uh, between that uh, radhakant dev of dharma sabha radhakant dev of dharma sabha also opposed it but finally the act was passed by uh, passed by british government in 1856 he also fought against child marriage and uh, which led to age of consent act that is 1891 was passed which fixed the minimum age to be 12 years for the marriage for girls so this was the information related to ishwar chandra vidyasagar next question number 11 the right to property was dropped from the list of fundamental rights by here the option c is the right answer that is 44th amendment which was passed in 1978 1978 4+4 uh, you can remember it like that it is 8 so it is 1978 right to property was passed uh, he, or removed from the list of fundamental rights and it was made a legal right under article 300a you should you should also remember this next question number 12 election to the gram panchayats are here the answer will be option a that is to be direct on the basis of adult franchise so it is elected on the basis of adult franchise and gram panchayats it is in part 9 of the indian constitution and it is also in 11th schedule it has 29 items and 12th schedule we have municipalities 11th schedule is panchayats next question number 13 finance commission consist of here the answer b is the right answer that is chairman and four other members are the members of finance commission and all the members are appointed by the president of india and finance commission is given under article 280 So next question number fourteen: Disputes between the government of India and one or more states can be heard by the Supreme Court of India under. So here the original uh, answer is option A, that is original jurisdiction, and it is given under Article One Thirty One. Next question number fifteen: The first session of the Constituent Assembly was held on. So it was held on. Number C is the right answer here. It is ninth December nineteen. 46 and it had 211 members next question number 16 the temporary hardness of water is caused by so uh, for water hardness is caused due to bicarbonates present in it next question number 17 so aspirin as we all uh, take some times or not it is an anti pyretics that is number c it is uh, taken due to for headaches and all next is number 18 which is the most abundant hydrocarbon in the atmosphere so here the answer is option a that is methane methane is most abundant in the atmosphere and methane's formula is ch4 next question number 19 formation of stars begin from the following two gases so here the answer will be option d that is hydrogen and h2n he led to formation of the stars it is given in hypothesis Next question number four twenty. That is our last question. Asteroid belt is situated between the orbits of. So here, uh, option B is the right answer. That is, Mars and Jupiter. It is between this asteroid belt is uh, situated. That is M A J. You can remember that M A J, Mars. So this was mock test number twenty. Hope you have got the benefit. Can you subscribe my video for supporting me? And I will be uploading. more mock test and other related i will be completed books different books so it will help you in your examination kindly subscribe me thank you